Hey guys, my name is Crystal. I'm doing a reading for Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, I'm going to pull some Oracle, a couple from um, my, each of my Oracle decks, and then some from the Tarot, and just see what's coming in for you guys. <coughs> um, step out of your comfort zone, so maybe you're feeling like, you know, you know, like you're not wanting to do something because it's not something that's easy for you to do, but the universe wants you to step out of your comfort zone and just go ahead and, and try it and see where it takes you. Usually it'll take it to you. Take Usually it'll be easier than we think it is or better than what we think it is, okay? Take time to breathe out. You're stressing too much over this situation, whatever situation you're um, stressing about or doing too much, working too much. It's like take time to breathe out. Take time to relax. Take some time to yourself, Okay. And then you have, look at the bigger picture. This is a Sagittarius. Um, so you may be, um, you know, dealing with the Sagittarius um, in your life. Could be significant to you. You have breathe. <laughs> Definitely doing too much, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. No, 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 no. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Her signs, breathe. All right, so you have two cards talking about time to rest, time to take uh, some time out to yourself. By working too much, stressing too much, and doing too much, you can make your um, body sick. So I think the universe is just telling you, like a little warning, you know, just take some time out to yourself, okay? And you have exchanging gifts, so I don't know if maybe you're going, like maybe there's a something that's going on to where you're going to be exchanging like literal gifts or it might be just saying exchanging your gifts like you know exchanging words helping other people you know um through their issues and then they help you or whatever you know what i mean exchanging gifts it could mean that you're very intuitive and you read tarot or something like that and then this is the way you know you exchange your gifts so i feel like these are just things that you know <clears throat> that you help each other with you have treasure island and between worlds I feel like you're stuck in a situation that you're not sure what you want, okay? So it's like you maybe you want to leave something or you want to stay. You don't know what you want or maybe you want to leave your job, but you don't know if you want to do that or not. Maybe you're not sure about, like, how the situation is going to be. But, like, whatever decision you choose to make is Treasure Island. It's going to bring you to happiness. You're going to be able to find, like, um, all your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to be able to find what you're searching for, what you're working so hard for. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, just all my readings, it could be, unless I specify, it could be for love, it could be for relationships, it could be for career, it could be for yourself, like, if I'm saying, like, healing work, it'd be, you take it however it resonates for you. If I say, you know, working on healing or whatever, if you're working on healing for yourself or in some type of situation, you know, and, and it is what it is, whatever way that you guys want to take it. Sometimes I can't talk, but it's fine. Who cares? Storms, complications, struggles to make it through. So you are going through a lot of stuff right now. It's a lot of complicated stuff for you. Maybe that's the reason why you're between worlds is because things are getting a little bit challenging for you and you're not sure if to stay or to um, leave. You have temple. Find peace within. Your body is a sacred temple. So this is another card where I like to say, take time to breathe out. Breathe. Okay, this is also saying like meditate. Okay, like you need to find the peace within yourself. Be happy within yourself first so that way you're able to find happiness in every other thing. Okay, we ha it all starts within us first. Then you have, uh, and these are all the good things that are coming to you. So I feel like peace is coming to you. I feel like this decision that whatever you're between worlds is going to, you know what I mean, you need to take some time to go and meditate through that or for that question and be able to find the answer because the answers are within you. So you need to meditate. Meditate to whatever that you're feeling like, you know, that you're stuck in, right? Then you have fat <laughs> pathway. Follow your own path. Do not need to follow another. So if other people are trying to put stuff in your head, like, no, don't do this because that would not work out or do this this because this will be better it's like no don't listen to what they say it's okay to listen to their advice but it doesn't mean you have to do what they say right so i don't know maybe you feel like somebody's too bossy around you i don't know i don't know because it says follow your own path you do not need to follow another so maybe to me it just sounds bossy maybe somebody's trying to tell you what to do i don't know gemini you may be dealing also with a gemini it says adaptable quick-witted communication maybe there's communication that needs to be um had Within this um, situation, it could also mean that you are needing to learn how to be adaptable um, in these um, storms that you're going through. So I feel like it's, it's time for you to kind of learn how to adapt to changes. Maybe things are changing for you and it's not so easy. So I feel like you just got to, you know, go with the flow. You know what I mean? Then you have Scorpio. So Scorpio may also be somebody that you're talking to or a situation or, or whatever. Um, mysterious, fierceness, and intimidating. You, somebody may be like mysterious to you. 
in a good way or a bad way, okay? Um, but intimidating, somebody might, like I said, is bossy, right? So then I would think intimidating, right? Maybe somebody is intimidating, like it could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your boss, it could be your friends, your mom, whatever. I feel like somebody is kind of like keeping you in fear, right? I feel like you're kind of afraid of somebody, like stepping on somebody's toes or afraid of um, doing something and somebody gets mad at you. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. So first these ones came out, Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So it's like you're charging for like this ending. Like you want things to end. You want this to be over. You want a new start. You know, you want to start over again is what I'm just hearing. So I don't know if you're trying to mend your relationship or just start over in another situation, like another place, another home or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's like you're mad that like it's not ending, right? Okay? So it's like you are ready for this ending. Three of Pentacles. This is you and other people like teamwork and stuff like that. Having other people help you, I don't know, in this situation. So it could mean that maybe you could also be building a business, building something together with other people, right? So maybe like remodeling your home or something like this. But I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, there is some teamwork that needs to be done. The Tower tells me things are definitely changing. And I feel like that's where the storms and the complications come from too. And that's why you're between worlds is because things are changing and maybe you're not so happy with the change, right? Or things are not changing as fast as you want. I feel like you're feeling like things are maybe just not changing. Um, maybe you're feeling like things are not changing, okay? And, um, yeah, now you're trying to figure out something new. It's like maybe you're trying to figure out something else. You got two pages, page of cups, page of wands. New love, new inspirations, new um, ideas, new um, ways to do things. Being open, being receptive to learning new things. These are also messenger cards. You may be getting a message soon. I keep on saying this for um, one of the um, earth signs. <laughs> one of the earth signs. It's like... There is some messages that you guys are waiting for. You guys are waiting for. And I think this is why you're, you're so upset because things are not changing for you and it's causing you a lot of stress, right? It's like you don't know what to do. You feel stuck, right? You feel between worlds, all right? It's like you know where your heart wants to go, but you're kind of not where it wants to be, right? So then you have the star, which is talking about deep healing, doing things step by step, like in moderation, taking your time, not trying to rush, you know what I mean? Trying to like um, get everything in order. Yeah, the chariot in reverse, right? Things are not moving. Things are staying the same. You know, you feel like you're not leaving fast enough. I feel like you're feeling stuck, all right? What's this tower about? Feeling stuck, like I just said. Feeling stuck, eight of swords. But this can also be stuck in your thoughts, stuck in your emotions, stuck in negativity, stuck um, maybe by the way people talk to you. Maybe people are not so nice to you with their words, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. I feel like it's an emotional ro roller coaster for you. It's something that you don't want to open your eyes to because it's like, you know what I mean? I feel like you can fix this, but I just feel like it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's just a lot of sadness, a lot of stress, a lot of emotions. The death card and the two of wands. I feel like once you make a decision, that's how that's when things are going to end. Once you make a decision, that's when things are going to change. All right? you The decision is in your hands. The world is in your hands here. All right? You have the choice. Like, the choice is in your hands. Okay? So it's like if you want things to stay the way they are, leave them be. But if you want them to change for the better, it's like you have a decision on your hands to make. I'm not sure what decision it's going to be because for all of you guys, it's different. Right? Alright, but I do feel like um, transformation is definitely taking place for you guys soon. Let's see if you're dealing with a person. Seven of Wands. This person's very um, guarded. This person might be just always ready to uh, fight. Very guarded, very protected. Okay, I feel like um, on the defense. Okay. The Two of Pentacles, this person's indecisive. This person also does a lot of stuff, but I feel like this person is somebody who kind of does the same things over and over again. It's like the same old repeating patterns over and over and over again, right? So if you're dealing with a person, that could be um, them. And then the Queen of Cups did fly out, okay? So um, this is just saying that this person maybe like um, doesn't really express too much of their emotions to you. They're kind of like emotionally cut off, right? I feel like maybe you're having some issues within a marriage or issues within um, some type of relationship that you have with somebody. Um, but this person is kind of like doesn't really want to tell you how they feel or doesn't really tell you how they're feeling. 
Yeah, the King of Swords, you want to know. You want to see right through them, or you see right through them, one or the other. You want to know. You want answers. You want information. Okay, then you have finances and career. Financial law, no. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now, in your love life right now. So maybe you guys are having financial problems and maybe it's causing, you know, arguments or, you know, maybe things are not getting paid right or maybe, you know, somebody's spending too much money or somebody's being too guarded with money, protecting their money, you know what I mean, with the seven of wands, protecting what you made. So maybe they don't want to spend return to save. I don't know. Okay? It could be anything for all of you guys. It could be different for all of you guys. Then you have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you have to find the passion in life. You have to find the happiness in life. And once you start doing that, more happiness and more stuff is going to be able to flow into your, your life a little bit more easier. But if you keep on holding on to, like, the sadness or the anger or the stuckness, you know what I mean? Being stuck in your thoughts and not being able to move any forward, thinking that everything is always going to be the way that they are, then it's always going to be that way. You know what I mean? And then you have love yourself first. Okay? So it all starts with us first. I feel like once you start loving yourself first and start noticing that you are perfect the way that you are, right? And just realizing, you know, things happen. And just like, you know, just try not to let everything bother you so much. I don't feel like you really do, but I do feel like you're feeling trapped. You're feeling like things are not really going anywhere, right? So let's see, after you make this decision, whatever decision this is supposedly, um about but the decision is in your hands like I said so when they make a decision hold on when they make the decision what the helicopters the lover's card the emperor I don't know if you're dealing with Aries the fire sign or whatever but I feel like you're going to get your power back you're going to find that spark and that passion that you feel like you've lost right and the lover's card and the knight of cups being divinely guided back together um, it could be with the next, it could be with this person, maybe you're mending something, or it could just be saying that you're being divinely guided to something else that you're going to really love, okay? Something that's going to be way better for you. I don't know if you're planning on leaving this situation or whatever it is, but I do feel like you're feeling stuck. You're not sure what you want, maybe, you know what I mean? And maybe that's the reason why you haven't made the decision yet, because you're kind of sh not sure what you want, you know you know, by yourself. So I feel like with this, with breathe, take time to breathe out and all this stuff, it's like you need to meditate to this, um, this problem that you're having because the only way that you're going to be able to get answers, well, the only person that you're going to get true answers from is actually yourself. So meditating will help a lot. If you meditate to that question, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find the answer. It might not come right away. It might take you a few tries, but the best place to go is what within ourselves. You know what I mean? So that's what I got for you guys. I hope this helps. Um, yeah, I do think, you know, things are going to start working out for you guys a little bit better. I just feel like there is a decision that needs to be made first. That way, you know, once you start doing that or whatever decision that you choose to do, you could be choosing to, like, work things out. You could be choosing to leave. You could be choosing to switch new jobs. It's like whatever choice that you make is going to lead you towards this lovers but if you you don't make a decision right and you stay stuck you know what i mean it's just it's going to continue to be the same thing and you're going to continue to be stuck in between these worlds and not knowing what you want so i think the universe just wants you to kind of just really sit back and think what do you want and what are you okay with and what do you want to you know your life to be and what do you accept and what you don't anymore kind of just make up your mind and let the universe know so that way they're able to send it to you but that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.